Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Attack on Titan, the final season, episode number two. Okay, uh, the previous episode that was episode number one, it started with a bang. We saw Reiner um, all kind of grown up with a little bit of mustache. Uh, damn, I can't forget how Reiner looked. And we got to see uh, the other portion that is the Marlins, their side of the story, kind of and um the problems that they are facing and the eldians who are like working for the marlians their like portion how they're being kind of ruthlessly like used as bait and used as kind of like an arm like uh like body bags like for example they are like using them as like shields in front of like um the like opponent forces and like they're just sacrificing them unnecessarily because obviously like the Marlians have kind of like they said that um, the uh, Eldians are devil spawn so you have to like make amends for your uh, ancestors mistakes stuff like these so yeah and uh, we got to see the, like those the portion of the like opponent uh, uh, team like we are always seeing uh, the world through Eren's Mikasa's eyes but this time we kind of saw uh, what's happening on the other side of the uh, sea. So let's see uh, what this episode brings. So yeah guys, um, without further ado, let's get started with episode number 2 of Attack on Titan Final Season. Alright, obviously uh, this is a timer reaction, so subtitles and the timer will be given here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. Three. Two, one, go. <clears throat> Who's this? Oh, this is the Marlins, okay. Deke is also here. Yeah, the Titans like power. Yeah, like they were always like Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like Titans can fly, like what will they do if like a bomb comes on and hits the titan on their head? Exactly. Like the modern weapons are so uh, like technologically advanced. <laughs> As I was saying. Hmm. Oh my god, okay. Wonder Boy. Okay, obviously. Okay. One year. Oh. Colt is going to... Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, like 
as technology is advancing soon like soon titans i don't know won't be able to do anything for example uh, like one bomb is enough to like blow the whole place out so they were always like focusing on the titans and not like advancing their own like technological prowess that is not something that they should have done if they want to like keep their position in the like war against the others like imagine like when we started this show attack on titan did we ever think that all of this stuff will be involved like this war strategies people like the army and like uh, like strategizing we just thought that titans were like uh, mindless killing monsters and we have to just kill them but man the show has come a long way and i have to say like hats off to the author like this is some next level stuff Like people who are starting Attack on Titan now. <laughs> oh boy! Like we standing at this point here, we can understand that. Like what they're seeing are full of like foreshadowings and everything. Okay, here is Zeke. Hmm. Hmm. Oh boy. Well, you have. Hmm. Big secret. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> oh, wait, what? You want to know that? Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Can't imagine. Okay. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, Levi. <laughs> he is Le Oh, Mikasa as well. Levi and Mikasa, damn. Okay. <laughs> oh, this guy. Is he one of the Titans? Oh, okay, he's that guy. Okay. Wait. Oh. So Ymir, like he, she, he took Ymir's. So this guy took Ymir's power. Excuse me. Okay. 
तो फिर से करो ओके लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन This guy reminds me a lot of Aaron. Okay, calm down, dude. Okay, her name is Gabi. Gabi Udo, Sofia, and Falk. Falk reminds me a lot of Aaron. Yeah, he is being reminded. Yeah. Oh, I thought maybe he was being reminded of Aaron. Someone. Okay. Ha 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 Oh my god these marlins are like Like let them have their fun. What the hell, dude? Uh huh. <laughs> yep. These guys are like These guys are like brainwashed completely. Hmm. I was thinking they were going to like do it something like that, like. He obviously doesn't want Gabi to die earlier, so he's going to like try to inherit it himself, so that Gabi would live long, and Gabi would hate him for that. I'm guessing. Hmm. <laughs> It's 
सो कोल्ट विल इनहेरिट बीस टाइटन एंड गावी आम टाइटन फॉर नाउ Hmm. For them, uh, I think Reiner is the most like person who they should trust. Not Zeke, because I don't know what that guy is thinking. But Reiner is pretty good. Oh boy, look at them, eyeing them like that. Oh, the grandpa and grandma. Oh lord. <laughs> oh oh my god yeah that's traumatizing oh my god what the hell dude oh boy look at this They don't have any fear. God. Oh, they're f oh, she's from their family. I don't know how to feel about calling them devils. Nephew. Oh, dad. Okay. Don't dare to talk bad about Sasha. <laughs> Wait, he's completely like narrating the whole scenario. What? Is
Damn, the narration. Wait. Uh, yeah, I saw something. Someone was jumping, wasn't it? Or was it something? Was it something that I? Hmm. Oh boy. Cyber family. Bridge doing the oh okay. Festival. Within a year. They're bugging them. What? What line? Oh. Oh, that's the end. Wow, that went so quickly. Okay, the ending song. Like we're getting a lot of focus on Falco. Again, the contrasting music. What a weird, like, un creepy type of music. Like there are two types of tune playing at the same time, which are completely opposite to each other. Oh, 
Damn, the song is amazing, but... <laughs> the We've never not seen Aaron at least once even in this start of the season. So they're like... Completely focusing on this part. I'm guessing they'll uh, like probably show uh, like the uh, Eldians and uh, Marlians their part for a few episodes. Then they'll switch to um, Eren and the Paradise Islands. What's happening there? Because obviously we saw whatever uh, what was happening there. They like completely obliterated each and every Titan uh, in the end of the second season. Uh, in the end of the third season and um, yeah we know what happened so now this this part we're getting to see all right now here's one thing um i as i was saying like uh, so the people who are uh, going to inherit the titans are uh, number one is gabi and, and was gabi yeah i think so <laughs> forgive me i always like mix up the names uh, she is going to um inherit the armor titan from reiner and that is now like uh, up until now we don't know what's going to happen in the future because obviously we can see that um falco is also kind of uh, like trying to go for the uh, armor titan to inherit that because like if uh, gabi inherits that he won't live for long and i don't think uh, like falco wants that so that's also the reason why um reiner kind of threatened him like that now uh, that and another thing is the, like um gabi's uh, not gabi uh, falco's brother colt he is going to inherit the beast titan so i think this is how it will go uh, as like uh, as we can see like falco's uh, concern for gabi and gabi is like all hung ho about yeah i want i will like inherit the armor titan I think it's because of a lot of reasons. Uh, um, Reiner is from her family, and she looks a lot up to Reiner. That's why she wants to like inherit the Titan Reiner has. So um, that is the reason. And I'm guessing uh, like Falco will try to like hinder that. That's why he was like training as well. Like he is all now determined to get the um, armor Titan. I think so. And um, so uh, like I think. Falco will try to hinder that and I don't know if he would be able to like get the armor titan for Reiner and before Gabi gets it but if he does so Gabi will definitely hate him from the like the depths of her being <laughs> like like I know like a lot of things will like uh, make her hate him because number one she thinks um, Falco is a lot um uh, what is what's the word inferior inferior to her uh, from her like uh, behavior we can see that and uh, she is also this extremely prideful and also she, the, her adoration for reiner all of these things will like like make her completely hate um falco from the depths of her being i think if somehow falco gets the armor titan so yeah and i don't know why but falco reminds me a lot of eren like <laughs> like i don't even his voice is kind of like eren so yeah uh, i think uh, a lot of things will revolve around him anyways um there's something we have to see later part another thing that kind of struck struck me in this episode was reiner when he was talking with like when um falco said that uh like uh, you are like uh, he's she's going to inherit the uh, armor titan and she will uh, like live a lot less so something like that and he, he could he was kind of like not insulting but um talking bad about the armor titan or the titan power in itself and Rainer kind of like snapped there now here's the thing um I don't know if that was really how Reiner behaved from like his own or that was just a little trick that he did so that um, Falco 
like Hulk was in front of them, like from in front of Ryan, and that's why after uttering a word like this, uh, like nothing happened. He was okay, but if somehow there was not Reiner, but some of the Marlians was like standing there, and he said a, anything like this towards the Marlians, they would immediately take uh, Falco and take him to the gallows and like kill him just like that. So I think like Reiner kind of reacted like that uh, to make him realize that you should never ever utter such words, even in your dreams, in front of like the Marlians. I don't know, I, I feel this was the reason why he did it, because at, at the beginning when he was kind of snapped, I thought, well, why the hell is Reiner acting like that? Is this, uh, like, is Reiner also, like, really affected so much by this kind of brainwashing thing that's going on? Like, we know that the Malians are kind of brainwashing them, by, like, complete, like uh, saying the same thing over and over again, repeating it over and over again, and making them fear, uh, and making them, uh, like, uh, think that yeah, uh, we are the devil spawn. We are our ancestors are bad The Marlians are like the good people they using their goodwill took us in and the devils are in the paradise island And we should kill them this kind of like uh, thing um, brainwashing thing So, like I was thinking like is really like Reiner like this because in the previous season We kind of saw him a little bit mentally unstable because of the split personality kind of thing like when he completely forgot everything about like um, his past and like were like happily uh, like uh, not happily were like uh, doing things for uh, like Eren's team when he was in Eren's team so I was thinking like is this some kind of uh, split personality again like he snapped completely but then when he said the last word that if you want to, uh, it was something like this, like, um, so do you want um, Gabi to uh, face the same horrors of war that we are facing, we Eldians are facing, something like this. When he said that, it kind of struck me, like maybe he is kind of acting, like uh, maybe he's doing it like this for two reasons. Number one, obviously, like to make uh, Falco understand that you should never ever speak such words in front of anyone. Like if someone, like, Hears you, you'll be dead. Like they're always like they're bugging them, okay, and like they're like spying on them like that. So anyone could have heard it. Uh, number one reason was that. Number two reason was he wanted to kind of make um, Falco agitated and make him like wanted to uh, like make him realize that yeah, if you want to do something, if you want to help Gavi, you have to do something for yourself. That is, you have to inherit the Titan yourself. So that she doesn't get um, like sac not sacrificed, but she doesn't uh, like get the t uh, titan power. Now, like now here's the thing. Um, in like in the point of view of Gabi, uh, she doesn't want anyone to help her. She is extremely happy with what she is doing. So here comes another thing. Like, is it really okay to Falco? like um like take it on himself to help her when gabi doesn't even want any help and this is kind of um like pushing on your uh, choices on her kind of i know she he's doing this because he wants gabi to be okay and he doesn't want her to like die uh, quickly so but uh, like this kind of like poses this question now, who knows, like there is no uh, correct or wrong in uh, like this, a lot of things in this show, like there is no correct answer in a lot of things. This is more like a question like that, like what will you do, like will, like, like he is most problem, like he's just doing something hypocritical, like he's kind of a hypocrite if she like pushes on his own uh, feelings and his own thought process on like um gabi and thinks that yeah i should help her when gabi is not even looking for help so yeah there's no wrong there's no right like everyone is doing everything on their own uh, according to their own thought process so yeah like let's see what like this eventually uh, gets into yeah uh, those were the things that i wanted to mention and like Zeke and all of them, like they are constantly under supervision. 
um, when Zeke went uh, to the roof, he was saying something that, yeah, all my secrets will be getting to know it. And uh, Colt said, what secrets? And uh, Zeke said that, ah, like, uh, <laughs> wiping my ass, stuff like that. And a person, like a Marlian, was just standing behind him, that means. He came in just like that and said, that, ah, I also want to know you are like Eldians, so you should definitely say everything to us. So like that amount of supervision they kept under. So like if like so Zeke was unable to say anything to him to like Colt about um uh, the thing. I think uh, he wanted to say something about the royal blood, didn't he? Like <coughs> Colt said something that um uh, like no one has a royal blood or something like that. But uh, like Zeke has royal blood, doesn't he? Yeah. Like uh, he is the descendant of Diana. So. I think no one knows that and oh yeah no one knows that because obviously yeah I can I remember in uh, season th uh, 3 at the, at the end almost at the end uh, they did not know that Diana was the like was royalty like uh, Owl kind of helped them at that when <coughs> they were almost going to like make uh, uh, Grisha's uh, like tell that yeah Diana is royalty he was going to tell them but like Owl came in and like hold him held him back and did not like say anything let him say anything so yeah no one knows that diana was royalty her name was diana wasn't it or dina anyways uh forgive me if i'm like uh, butchering her name um <coughs> so okay so no one knows so oh all right all right yeah i, I think uh, like zeke wanted to say something like that to colt but obviously like Colt will inherit that if Colt um like really inherits be the beast titan power from Zeke. So yeah, this also kind of makes it uh like he did it a really good way because he said something about like I have secrets. Now Colt knows that he has secrets. When he asked what secrets, he said something about wiping his ass because people were spying on him. And he did not want them to know that he's royalty, like he's he has royal blood. Now if someday Colt inherits uh, Zeke's Titan uh, power, he will get to know all of the past, everything, uh, all about uh, like uh, Zeke's mo mother, uh, Diana, and everything. Now he will connect the dot that yeah, like Zeke was telling me something about some kind of secret, but because like there were people behind him who were spying on him, he was unable to say it. So he will connect the dot like that and will get it easily. I think <laughs> like it was something that Zeke kind of did here. Like, uh, damn, they have all, like, to treat each and everything they are doing in such a calculated fashion. Like, one slip of the tongue, anything, you'll, come, like, just be taken to the uh, gals and be killed. That's the, th like, situation here. <coughs> okay, one thing I have to check out. Just a sec. Okay, um, guys, uh, that was some like really amazing thing that like I saw it properly now. Here's the thing what happened in that room. Galliard gets in. Like I was really confused. I did not follow it when I was reacting to it. Galliard gets into the room. He sits down and he uh, asks that uh, the Marlins are not here. And Zeke said, not in this room. Okay, Galia did not get that, like did not understand that, his brain did not work, but I think Reiner got it. Here's the thing, uh, Galia did not get anything of that, he was like talking about like kind of opposing them. Now, Marlians are listening to them, hmm. and Reiner knows that. So when like Galia was almost going to go overboard, Reiner com quickly stopped him and like started saying like, yeah, this will like save our like uh, Marlin, like our um, like... What, what did he say like this will save us and something like that and we will do it and he suddenly started blabbering that when i was reacting to that i thought that why is reiner acting like this <laughs> damn and later on we get to see um the marlians in the other room when they were like spying on them uh, them saying that and uh, galliard kind of goes overboard but he gets his job done so here's the thing that could have happened if galliard went more overboard he could have been punished Reiner and um, Zeke kind of saved them, so uh, saved him. Like damn, the amount of <laughs> little things uh, I did not uh, like notice that when I was like reacting to um, 
the show itself like uh, the episode but now after like looking at it properly okay damn that was a good thing that they did like Rainer also caught it like when uh, Zeke said that not in this room <laughs> imagine the amount of stress you have to like be always like being surveillance uh, like surveyed like that damn <laughs> okay that was really good um they did a good job okay so um yeah guys and uh, that was uh, episode number um uh two of attack on titan the final season and that was a really good episode um and i really want like would i'm looking forward to what is going to happen like this is in itself a little story uh, type of thing that's happening here so i'm guessing we'll get more of them uh, in the future episodes so let's see and uh damn this is this is like building up to be a quite an amazing thing so i just can't wait to when everything will go down <laughs> so yeah um okay so that was uh, episode number two of attack on titan if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and uh, comment down below anything you want to say uh, about this episode and if i am wrong about anything uh, obviously this is attack on titan i might get wrong a few things because there are a lot of things to like process so if i'm wrong about something so be sure to correct me down in the comments i'll check them out and no spoilers please Okay guys, um, so yeah, uh, I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode of Attack on Titan, uh, same time, so until then goodbye and have a nice day.